essentially five steps to get DCOM configured properly to get OPC working between different PCs and we'll discuss all five of these in this particular presentation. First, we'll remove the Windows security altogether. This is actually what we recommend for all beginners. If you remove the Windows security, you'll have a much, much easier time getting the DCOM um, settings configured properly. In the fifth step, we'll actually put all of that security back in. So don't worry, uh, we're removing it just temporarily. In the second step, we'll have to make sure that user accounts are recognized on both the OPC client and on the OPC server PCs and that's actually required to get DCOM working uh, and communication working between the two computers. In the third step we'll configure the system-wide DCOM settings. So here what we're going to do is uh, to affect the DCOM settings for the entire computer and in fact uh, for all DCOM applications. In the fourth step we'll configure the DCOM settings for the particular server that you're going to be working with and we'll take a look at those as well. And last, once everything is working, that's when we'll restore the Windows security. We'll put it back and make sure that everything is secure. And in fact, that's what we recommend to all users. When they're done, make sure that you put the security back in to make sure that you comply with uh, all IT policies.